ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well armed as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Big power to punch land. Now we get back to range. Continue. He heard him. Coming, it's blocked. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Right hand punch the clinch. He gets to the spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Lunges forward with a left hand. Take it down. There you go. Oh man, the canvas is shaking as he slams him down. Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. Oh, that's the big the score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have... idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. A couple of uppercuts there for good measure. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll be good. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to show it that was the right time. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Johnson. Watch wow. Johnson. of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Uppercuts and punches, we don't say that all the time, but that has certainly been a big part of the narrative in this one as he lands yet another combination here in the clinch. He lands another uppercut combination in the clinch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He went high on that one. Now a kick to the body. He engages in a single collar tie here. signs of swell. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. The 
attacking on bar. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Just over three minutes to go in round two. in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. Yeah. Gotta be careful, Armbar. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. Well, anytime you are in a ground fight, right now it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right next to his opponent. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. He got it, he got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission, beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he